Hey guys, if you're new, welcome to Cisco Nate. If you're returning, welcome back. Um, so this video was intended to be initially about the issue that many people have run into with Firepower Management Center and creating an HTTPS uh, server certificate to identify your FMC website. Um, but I decided to generalize it because this applies to pretty much any certificates that you want to issue to many Cisco appliances. And it's good to understand the nuances and underpinnings of how to generate certificates and what all of these settings do. So that's what we're going to talk about in this video. I'll go into the requirements next and we'll get going. Okay guys, now the requirements for this video require that you have a PKI infrastructure and in particular I'm using Windows Server 2016. Now I'm not an expert on PKI, but I would venture to guess that you need Windows Server 2008 R2 or later. And you will see later in the video why you need 2008 R2 or later to generate certificates that will play nice with Firepower and possibly other devices that have the same requirements. Outside of that, you need access to your PKI server through a web browser on another client machine and then your FMC that so that you can then generate and load the cert later. Now we're not going to generate and load the cert in this video, but if you want to be able to actually validate and test the certificate, you will need one. All right, we'll get right to it. Okay, so I'm going to start this video the way I almost always do, and that is by accessing most of the resources that I need to show you everything I intend to show you in the video. So I'm going to RDP to my PKI server, and that is what you need to do now if you're trying to follow along with this video and uh, complete the same task of creating a template that will work with Firepower Management Center and or other devices. So the first thing we need to do is go to Server Manager. <coughs> From Server Manager, click Tools and then Certification Authority. After that, you can close the Server Manager dashboard. All we need is this view here. So under Server Manager, you want to go to Certificate Templates, and we're going to start discussing kind of the issues with Firepower Management Center and possibly other things, and that is when you try to load a web server certificate that has been malformed, malformed meaning not meeting the requirements of Firepower Management Center, um, it typically presents an error that says basic constraints are not defined or critical. And we'll go into what that means here. So go ahead and uh, right click on certificate templates and click manage. And then come down to your web server template. There should be one on all PKI servers uh, by default. Now this is again Windows Server 2016. Yours may look slightly different. So click uh, right click on the web server and click properties. What you'll notice here is the template name is web server. And when you click on extensions, there is a field that says extensions included in this template, basic constraints. Now, if you double click on that, you'll see that there is no caveat here and it does not say it is enabled. There is a nuance to understanding what this means. This means that basic constraints is defined, but it is not enabled. That means the certificate generated by this web server template will work for your FMC, as long as you can supply your subject name in the request <coughs> and the compatibility settings for it uh, allow it to be published and you can select it and the uh, compatibility settings for the end client which you cannot see here uh, allow that extension to be included. <coughs> so with all that being said let's go to something more useful. Right click on web server and click duplicate template. This is the most important part of the template page here because this controls 90% of what is breaking most FMC certs on uh, for, for PKI. Compatibility settings, certification authority, controls the schema that is used to write this template. And that schema is important because it generally controls what templates show up as available when you're trying to request a certificate. I am not an expert in PKI. And I have no idea why this happens, but if you choose anything later than 2008 R2, it uses schemas 3 for 2012 and 4 for 2016. Even though I'm running a Windows Server 2016, I cannot publish certificates that are schema 3 or 4. I have no idea why. I'm not an expert. Maybe it's bug. Maybe it's not. So when you create your template for your FMC, choose Windows Server 2008 R2 for the certification authority. That will use schema 2 and it will be available when you publish it. The next thing is the certificate recipient. 
For compatibility when the recipient is 2003, it does not include the extension basic constraints. So if you come over to the extensions tab, you'll see it shows it here included and it's weird terminology, I don't know why. But if you double click it, it says this is disabled due to compatibility settings. This means when the certificate is actually issued, that field will not be defined. And that is what is going to break your FMC. Notice this was cloned from the web server. Now, when I come back to compatibility settings, the minute I jump to, you can notice what it added here, request handling and cryptography. That's okay. But the minute I jump to 2008 R2 is when the extension basic constraints is finally added. And that is what you guys need and most likely are missing. So go ahead and click OK. Make sure you have 2008 R2 authority, so it's schema 2 and will be publishable. Make sure you have request recipient is 2008 R2 or later. I can choose R2 or 2016, it doesn't matter. I'll use 2016 for this case. When I come here, now when I double click, that caveat is gone and I'm able to enable the extension. That is not what's important. All that's important is that this caveat is gone, which means it will be defined in the issued certificate. So I'll go ahead and click general and name this FMC cert. Now I've got the subject name is supplied in the request. I've named the certificate, compatibility settings are correct, and my extension is there and available. It is defined even if it's not enabled. Hit apply, hit OK. Now you've created the template, the next thing you do is make it available so people can use it. So we want to come back to our certification authority window, right click on certificate templates, and click new certificate template issue. Scroll down, click FMC cert, hit OK, close this window. We are done on the PKI server. You can go ahead and get out of that remote desktop if that's what you're doing. And now all we need to do is request a certificate. So you have to go to HTTP colon slash slash, not HTTPS, the address of your PKI certification authority and slash cert serve. Hit request a certificate, advanced certificate request, click the drop down and choose your new template. There you have it. You now have a template that will work for FMC that is defined on your PKI server. All you need to do is generate your CSR using the other video I have and put it in here and you will have a certificate generated for your FMC. Thanks guys, appreciate your viewership.